How's it going, Charles Bonston? So I wanted to make a quick video about the evening routine. I just did the morning routine, my morning routine, which is linked up below. If you come home and you don't have a routine and you don't get ready for the next day, then you already have a routine. Uh, the first thing I do is turn the lights down, which you know I, I talked about in the morning routine, which is I have Alexa tied into there she goes. And then hue lighting, which is expensive. You don't have to have that, but just have something on dimmers. What you need to do is get your body ready for going to sleep. So, uh, and by hue lighting, I mean it's GE Phillips. You can turn it down. You can't really see, you know, the coloring, but there's actually coloring in that. I turn it down to this when I get home. Obviously, it's on bright for filming, and I'm controlling that on my iPhone, which is right here. While doing that, uh, I'm usually listening to something motivational. Uh, those are Bluetooth headphones. They're expensive uh, by uh, Bose. Cool little holder. I recommend the holder. Uh, kind of, you know, so instead of laying it out. Then what I do is the next thing is I come over here and this is, you know, I don't know if you saw the morning routine, but this is the kind of the stand for writing. I recommend it, you know, for anyone that's doing any kind of writing or typing or anything else. Also recommend the mat. The mat is super comfortable for your feet, especially if you have hardwood floors. If you have carpet, not a big deal, but I obviously have hardwood floors, so it kind of is a big deal. Uh, here's the library, books that are gonna be reading. In the morning, I read John Maxwell's Daily Reader right here, but in the evening, I read Daily Stoic, which is by Ryan Holiday. Essentially, each day, there's something that he goes over. Stoicism, which is essentially not tied to the outcome. Focusing on things that you could control instead of things that you can't control. In the evening, I just read one of the passages, which, you know, they're not that long. So it takes me, you know, a minute or two. Once I'm done with that, I come over and I do the daily five minute journal. Morning part, which is up here. They have a quote right here, the date, obviously, uh, what you're grateful for, what you want to do today, daily affirmations. And then when you come home at night, obviously from the little moon, you have three amazing things that happened today. Always focus on that and you need to focus on it because if you're not <laughs> gonna be able to feel gracious for where you're going and then, you know, how could you have made today even better? Which is great because you reflect on the good things and then you say, okay, what could I have done differently? And then usually I rate the day out of 100. Highly recommend the five minute journal and then they have a nice little uh, place to bookmark. Once I'm done with that, I then walk over here and start typing for the blog. This is something that you can't really recommend enough is don't go to TV, don't sit down and grab a beer. Uh, I don't have a TV in my entire apartment. I haven't had a TV since 2011, so that's not a big deal. I'm all about Bluetooth. I don't like wires, it's obviously uh, expensive iPad Pro, but I start typing for the blog. I try and eliminate work, you know, when I come home because it's just, it's not good. Cool little stand. What is most important is an hour before you go to bed, you have to get into the mindset of sleeping. So I recommend, you know, I'm in bed by 8.30, 9 o'clock max, and then I, I read a book. An hour before, you have to put on these things, which they're amber lighting. So essentially they come back to, we never had this, we never had lighting for millions of years. So when lighting was invented, it essentially, our bodies thought it was still light out. I turn the lighting down, I dim it to like pretty much zero. These are more expensive. There you go, Swannies or whatever the heck they're called. So the ones I had before were about $10. These are 80 bucks. You don't need to get that expensive, but you have to have something that blocks out the blue light, which are on screens, which are on TVs, which are on lights. Once I'm Done reading, I then put on uh, the blinder. So this is my blinder, it's a full, full on blinder. Like it, it covers like my whole head. And the reason being is that I am a light sleeper. So my room is completely dark and it is like noise free. Highly recommend this or at least some kind of blinder. You have to darken your room so it's like a cave. Keep it cooler and obviously right before you go to bed, no kind of TV or anything like that. I do have a, a light that has a, a sleeping light on that kind of understands that it's a different color, it's like an amber color. And then I have the glasses on, which are great. And then obviously from bed, I actually tell Alexa, lights off. And what's great is that from bed, she'll, and obviously it's during the day, but all the lights are off in my entire apartment. Alexa, lights on. So that's obviously connected to hue lighting, but uh, highly recommend that if you do have the money. Any questions, let me know. Have an awesome day, and everything's linked below to the post. Talk to you soon.